Well, December 7th, 1941, a day that still lives in infamy, especially for one of the last remaining Pearl Harbor survivors living right here in the state of Utah. Tonight we take you inside the story of Lieutenant Max Burgraff. Dan Ruscone joining us live. How old is Max today, Dan? Mark and Shauna, he is 98 years old, but 75 years ago tomorrow, he was just a young 23-year-old seaman who watched with his own eyes history change forever. Max Burgraff may have trouble standing, Good job, Max. And walking. I'm right here. And yes, he may be completely blind. Well, can we go call him right? And not able to hear well, but sit him down. I just did my duty. And bring up a date which will live in infamy. December 7th, 1941, the attack on Pearl Harbor 75 years ago, and Lieutenant Max Burgraff. Sunday. Sunday morning. Comes alive, remembering that historic event in great detail. I should say so. And he considers himself very lucky to have survived an attack that killed more than 2,400 people and wounded another 1,100. I'm very pleased to be here. Max was fresh out of high school when he enlisted in the Navy. In December of 1941, he was on the USS Nevada at Pearl Harbor. On that Sunday morning, he just happened to be at church in Waikiki when the first planes attacked. That's when the alarm sounded to get back to the ship. Search hadn't started, and there were a bunch of us there, and we all just hiked right for Pearl Harbor. When Max arrived at Pearl Harbor, he was shocked at what he was witnessing. I was amazing. Just couldn't believe it. The thing that shocked me most was seeing the USS Oklahoma bottomed up. The Arizona was sunk. There was smoke, there was fire. The uh, water was uh, covered with oil. And the sky was lit up. Lots of puffs of uh, anti-aircraft ammunition. And also there were planes who were dropping bombs. As for the USS Nevada, it was still standing, but badly injured. It had been hit by three bombs. Max ran back on board to help get the ship out of the harbor. Well, I thought I'd better get back to the ship and do my duty. As we got closer, the ship sunk more and more. The USS Nevada became the only battleship to get underway, but eventually had to be beached. 50 men were killed on that ship, and one of them could have easily been Max. The man who took my place lost his life. At 98 years old, Max is one of 44 other veterans living here at the Sagewood at Daybreak Senior Center in South Jordan. Right there, there you are. You're looking good. <laughs> but when it comes to being a Pearl Harbor survivor that's still living, Max only knows of two others in Utah. As we continue getting older, there's not going to be any before long. That's why Lieutenant Max Burgraff hopes that what happened 75 years ago will continue to live in infamy for all Americans. People ought to remember Pearl Harbor and not let that happen again. Now, one of the reasons Max says he joined the Navy was to avoid a freshman English class in college. He said he had such a bad experience in high school that he couldn't imagine taking the English class in college. Well, it turns out after World War II, he went to the University of Utah and tested out of freshman English. So he avoided it altogether. For more on this story, go to KUTV.com, click on features and inside the story. So 98 years old, you can only imagine there's just a handful of them now living across the mm -hmm. country, in fact. So yeah. And you're right, he just came alive yeah, as he started he really to did. talk about the details. He knows the details good. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Got to keep telling that story for yeah. sure. All right, Dan, thanks.